The $25,000 Tesla Model 2 just landed, and it's breaking every rule. Tesla cast the entire chassis as one single aluminum piece, eliminating hundreds of welds and cutting structural weight by 40%. Less weight means the battery works less, delivering more range without adding costly cells. While other automakers stack parts together, Tesla molds theirs in seconds using a monster press that shapes five chassis per cycle. But here's the kicker. This lightweight body rolls off the line every 4.5 seconds. How does shedding weight turn a budget EV into a game changer? Let's dive right in. Inside Giga Texas sits a monster called the Giga Press, a 50,000 ton aluminum casting machine that's rewriting manufacturing logic. This isn't your typical factory equipment. It's applying pressure equivalent to stacking 12,000 pickup trucks on a single point, molding what used to be 400 separate parts into one solid piece in seconds. The inspiration? Hot Wheels toy cars. Musk saw how those tiny cars were cast in single molds and thought, why can't we do that full size? The industry laughed. Now they're scrambling to copy it. But here's where it gets wild. The new Model 2 version doesn't just cast one chassis per cycle. It produces five simultaneously. That's a 500% efficiency jump over the Model Y's already revolutionary process. Traditional automakers need entire assembly lines with hundreds of robots positioning, welding, and checking each joint. Tesla just presses a button, and five complete structural foundations emerge ready for assembly. What does this mean for competitors still welding chassis piece by piece? Let's break down the numbers because they're absolutely brutal. Every gigapress replaces roughly 400 weld points. Each weld point requires a robot, quality control sensors, energy, and maintenance. By eliminating these, Tesla cuts structural costs by 40% instantly. Fewer welds mean fewer failure points. Traditional chassis have hundreds of potential weak spots where metals join. The Model 2 has virtually none in its primary structure. The weight savings are equally insane. Those 400 eliminated welds, reinforcement plates, and overlapping metal sections account for several hundred kilograms. The aluminum casting itself is already lighter than steel, but when you combine it with this monolithic design, the Model 2's chassis weighs 40% less than comparable traditional structures. Here's the equation that matters. Every 100 kilograms removed from an EV adds roughly 10 to 15 miles of range without changing the battery. Tesla isn't adding bigger batteries to hit 300 plus miles. They're subtracting weight. This is where the lightweight body becomes a game changer for affordability. Battery cells are the most expensive component in any EV, typically representing 30 to 40% of total vehicle cost. If you can deliver the same range with a smaller battery pack, by making the car lighter, you've just slashed your biggest expense. The Model 2 reportedly uses a battery pack around 60 to 65 kilowatt hours, significantly smaller than the Model 3's 75 to 82 kilowatt hour pack. Yet early projections suggest similar real-world range. How? Physics. A lighter vehicle requires less energy to accelerate from every stoplight. It needs less force to maintain highway speed. Regenerative braking recovers more energy because there's less mass to decelerate. The compounding effect is massive. The battery sits integrated into the chassis floor, lowering the center of gravity and distributing weight perfectly. It's not bolted into a compartment. It is part of the structure. Smaller battery means faster charging times. A 60 kilowatt hour pack reaches 80% charge, significantly quicker than an 80 kilowatt hour pack on the same charger. For urban drivers making short daily trips, you're talking about plugging in once or twice a week 
instead of constantly hunting for chargers. But can a $25,000 car really deliver on these promises? Or is Tesla cutting corners we haven't seen yet? Now, here's where Giga Texas becomes almost science fiction. The production line moves so fast that Tesla literally warns engineers not to approach while it's operating. We're talking about a complete Model 2 rolling off every 4.5 seconds. Not minutes. Seconds. Traditional automotive plants take 15 to 30 hours per vehicle. Tesla is targeting over 90,000 Model 2s monthly from a single facility. The secret isn't just the Giga Press, it's the entire rethinking of automotive assembly. Tesla removed approximately 450 robots from the production line compared to the Model 3's setup. Those 450 robots were handling all the small components that are now cast as single pieces. Fewer moving parts means fewer things to break, align, or maintain. The remaining robots operate in synchronized choreography, handling final assembly, battery installation, and interior components. Molten aluminum gets poured, shaped under tremendous pressure, then cooled to 50 degrees Celsius in a thermal pool within minutes. Robotic arms extract the chassis and place it directly on the assembly line. No human hands touch it. No intermediate storage. The entire flow is continuous, 24-7, like a metallic heartbeat that never stops. What's the catch? Here's where Tesla made the controversial call dividing opinions. The Model 2's interior is brutally simple. No heated seats standard. No premium audio system. No panoramic glass roof. Fabric seats instead of synthetic leather. Single-pane windows without acoustic dampening. The dashboard is clean to the point of being spartan. Just a central touchscreen and essentials. Car enthusiasts are having meltdowns over this. But here's the analysis they're missing. Tesla isn't targeting car enthusiasts. They're targeting the 85% of global car buyers who currently can't afford EVs. These buyers don't care about heated seats. They care about not spending $60 filling up their gas tank every week. They want reliability, low maintenance, and access to the supercharger network. What Tesla kept is telling. All the hardware for autonomous driving. Front sensors, cameras, onboard processors, it's all there. Even the cheapest Tesla is still a Tesla, meaning it's over-the-air updatable and potentially robo-taxi ready when regulations allow. Musk isn't selling a car. He's selling a platform. That base model buyer might not care about premium sound today. But when Tesla flips the switch on autonomous features, that $25,000 vehicle could generate income as a robo-taxi. Can any competitor offer that? The exterior reveals Tesla's urban focus. This is a compact four-door hatchback with short overhangs and tight proportions. No aggressive styling. No fake air vents. It's designed for parallel parking in crowded cities, navigating narrow streets, and fitting in tight garage spaces. The door hinges have been re-engineered for wider opening angles, making entry easier in cramped situations. But don't mistake simplicity for lack of sophistication. The aerodynamics are exceptional for this class. Tesla maintained its obsession with reducing drag, smooth underbody panels, optimized airflow, minimal exterior protrusions. Every curve serves a purpose, reducing wind resistance to extend range. The short rear overhang reduces drag and improves maneuverability. Tesla is producing a vehicle with 300-plus mile range, autonomous hardware, supercharger access, and smartphone-level software updates for $25,000. The average new car price in America is currently around $48,000. Tesla just cut that in half while offering technology that won't exist in most gas cars for another decade. Legacy automakers have two options. 
match Tesla's pricing or compete on features, but they can't do both. Their manufacturing costs are too high because they're still welding hundreds of parts together. They can't match the efficiency without completely rebuilding factories around giant casting presses, which costs billions and takes years. Chinese manufacturers like BYD can match pricing but lack Tesla's charging infrastructure and software ecosystem in Western markets. Here's the honest analysis. Tesla's making huge compromises to hit this price point. The interior will feel cheap compared to premium EVs. Road noise will be noticeable. The ride quality might be harsh. You're getting an appliance, not a luxury item. But that's exactly the point. The Model 2 is the electric Honda Civic. Reliable, affordable, gets you where you need to go without drama. The real question is whether the market wants this enough to shift buying habits. So here's exactly why shedding weight turns a budget EV into a game changer. It's not just about making cars lighter. It's about fundamentally breaking the cost equation that's kept EVs expensive for decades. Tesla proved you don't need massive batteries to deliver serious range. You need smart engineering that makes every electron count. The 40% weight reduction isn't a spec sheet flex. It's the difference between selling EVs at luxury prices versus mainstream affordability. And here's what most people are missing. This isn't Tesla's endgame. The Model 2 is the foundation for something bigger. Once these lightweight platforms scale globally, Tesla controls the most efficient EV manufacturing process on the planet. Legacy automakers can't catch up without spending billions rebuilding their factories. By the time they do, Tesla will be three generations ahead. We're watching the automotive industry split into two categories. Companies that master single-piece casting and companies that become irrelevant. But the real disruption comes when these $25,000 vehicles become autonomous robotaxis. Suddenly, you're not just buying affordable transportation. You're buying an income-generating asset. That's the future Tesla's building toward one lightweight chassis at a time. Here's my question for you. If EVs become cheaper to own and operate than gas cars, how fast does the entire market flip? Are we talking five years or two? Drop your predictions below. I'm genuinely curious what timeline you're seeing. This is tech revolution, and we break down the innovations reshaping transportation. If you want more deep dives into the tech that's actually changing the game, you know where to find us. The EV revolution just shifted into overdrive, and the companies still welding chassis together are running out of time to adapt.